What is going on guys? John here from Cooking with John. Uh, I'm actually babysitting Irish right now. She's taking a nap in the other room, so I'm trying to be a little bit quiet. But I have a really, really simple, awesome recipe for you today. This is my go-to recipe. It's a cream cheese, chili cheese, chip dip. And it's absolutely delicious. It's something my mom made for me growing up uh, during like Super Bowls. And I actually called her and asked her where she got the recipe, but she couldn't remember. So I have no idea where it came from, but it's really, really simple. It's really easy to do. It's cheap. It tastes delicious. And like I said, if you're having people over, if you're having a party, you're watching some sort of sporting event. For me, it's Vikings games. This is a dip that you definitely want to serve your friends. And today's ingredients include hormel chili, cream cheese, cheese, as well as a bag of tortilla chips. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to take our can of chili, we're going to throw it on the stove, and we're going to heat it up. I know it doesn't look that appetizing, but trust me, it's pretty good stuff. There are all sorts of different types of variations that you can do on this recipe. You can use any type of cream cheese, any type of chili, homemade chili, any types of chips. So that's one thing I really, really like about it. I'm just showing you the way that I do it. Okay, and while we heat up the chili in our saucepan over there, and we're just cooking it on the, like the direction, say, on the can, all you have to do is really just heat it up, stir it a few times. It takes about five minutes. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take this block of cream cheese goodness, and we're gonna take a spoon, and we're actually just gonna like spread this out on a thin layer on the bottom of the plate. Just all the way out, just like this. And after a few minutes, we spread out all the cream cheese and kind of like just a nice even thin layer across the bottom of the plate. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hot chili, we're gonna spread it out over the cream cheese, and we're gonna add some cheese to put on top of that. And you can serve it just like that. Or you can put it in the fridge so it'll cool down and be ready to eat later or the next day and then you just put it in the microwave heat it back up but let me tell you what this is I just it's just so simple and so good so after about 10 5 to 10 minutes kind of depending on how hot you cook this stuff it will be done go ahead and dump it out on right on top of the cream cheese and then we're just going to use the same spoon that we use the cream cheese on and we're just going to spread it out nice even layer to cover the whole thing and I know some of you guys out there are probably denouncing the chili. Um, like I said, this is the way my mom made it for me growing up. So it, it just, it's something like I remember tasting as a kid. So this flavor in particular stands out to me. But I do agree with you. You know, you make a delicious batch of homemade chili, something like that. This is a great way to use the leftovers. And uh, it'll warm you right up on a cold day in the middle of winter. It's just a perfect, perfect game day dip. And that is it right there. You can serve it just like this, or you can cover it in saran wrap, put it in the fridge, and uh, save it for later. Go ahead and give it a taste. Get some of that cream cheese on there, some of that chili, a little bit of cheese. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is good. What? Let me tell you what. Top notch game day food right there. So good. Very, very delicious. And I uh, just also want to take a minute to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I can't believe so many of you have gone out of your way to subscribe to my cooking channel and watch my videos. It really does mean a lot to me and you guys are so awesome. I'm so happy that you're supporting me in this endeavor because it's something in the beginning I wasn't quite sure. Uh, it's, I've always wanted to do it. I wish I would have done it seven years ago when I started my other YouTube channels. But uh, I really, really enjoyed cooking and sharing my food with you guys. And you guys in return have really helped me out and showing your appreciation for my channel by subscribing, watching my videos, liking them, and I really, really appreciate that. So Nikki and I are switching up our schedule. We're vlogging five days a week now. I'm doing game videos maybe five days a week now. We're doing pranks, fishing videos, but I'm gonna work hard on trying to get you guys two videos a week on the cooking channel right here. So hopefully that becomes a reality. It just means so much to me that so many of you have followed me along this journey. Um, that is my cooking channel and hopefully we can grow it into something really really special I'll continue to upload videos review products for you guys and uh, like I said I just really really appreciate you supporting my passion for cooking so thank you so much I hope you enjoyed today's recipe and we will see you soon with more cooking from me John